okay so welcome back so in our previous video you have added the search functionality and today in this video we will add the filter functionality okay so after the search i'm going to create a new method here that is called filter and we simply have to call it here dot filter that's it so we are done here and now i go back here and type the logic so first of all i simply create a copy here so cons query copy that will be using here so dot 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 and put here this dot query string i create a copy of it then after that i have to basically remove some fields so removing so removing fields from the query okay and then const remove fields equals to this is an array of fields that i want to remove so keyword and then the limit and then the page we also have that in string okay so so if i simply print it here just to show you first of all what does this mean copy log query copy okay so if i go back to my postman you can see that here we have a keyword is equal to apple and let's add here and like category equals to laptops now if i click on send here and if I go back, you can see that here we get here this object that has keyword is equal to Apple and category is equal to laptops. So whenever we are in filter, we want to search by category, like find all the products that has category is equal to laptops. Now in that case, we don't have to use the keyword because there is no field in the Mongo, uh, in our Mongo basically document with the name keyword. So we have to remove this field. We only have to use this category or seller name or price that is present in our document so keyword is not in our document so that's why we have to remove this keyword and also we have to remove the limit and page that we're going to use in our pagination function basically okay so just we have to remove these three fields from this request.query okay so what i do is i simply type here remove fields now remove fields is an array so you can use here for each function on it so remove fields for each for each element i simply have to remove it so delete delete query copy that we have created so query copy and we pass in the element so in the query copy we have to remove all these three queries from that okay so now if i print here log log the query copy press ctrl s and now if i go back to my postman and click on send from here and now if i go back you can see that here first of all we get here a keyword is equal to this and category is equal to this and after removing the fields we only get here category which is apple and this is what we want okay i hope that you understand that why we are removing these fields so now we have removed the field what I can do is I can simply type here this dot query equals to this dot query and by the way I have this error which is this one is occurring because we haven't returned this uh, query like this from here so that's why this error is occurring and when we complete it it will it will be gone so this dot query dot find and have to pass here uh, remove fields oh sorry not remove fields have the query copy like this and I simply return this from here okay and if I press ctrl s go back to the postman click on send now you can see that I only have one product uh, it, is, it is apple macbook air that has category 
which is the laptops all right so it is working properly here now one more thing that for the price for example if i want to get all the products that has price between 100 and 500 dollars okay so for that i have to add some more advanced filter so what i do is i simply type here advanced filter for price ratings you see because if i type here like price is equal to 900 exactly going to match the product that has price 900 but we want the product between for example 100 to 500 okay so in that case you have to use advanced filters and also in case of ratings you can set the 4.9 i want to get all the product if you just select 4 this means that i have to select all the products that has a rating greater than 4 if you type 3 then you have to select all the products that has rating greater than 3 so for that what i do is i simply go back here and we have to use here uh, less than less than equal to greater than and greater than equal to so first of all let's type here let query str equals to json dot stringify this query copy so we are just going to convert uh, we know that this query copy is an object so we are going to stringify it we are going to convert that into the string because we have to uh, run a function on it so we have converted into the string and after that we can simply type here query string oops that is query string equals to query string dot replace okay so what i want to do here is i want to replace here uh, before that let me show you one thing if i type here log query copy before doing it if i go back my postman for example i want to get all the product that has price between one dollar and two hundred dollars so what i do is simply type here and price put in the brackets and type here greater than equal to uh, one dollar and price which is less than equal to two hundred dollars okay so this means that i want to get the price products that has price greater than equal to one and less than equal to two hundred if i click on send from here uh let's forget about it you can see that here we get here price greater than one and less than 200 but we cannot pass it inside this file function because we have to put here dollars we know that a gte and lte these are the mongo operators and each mongo operator start with the dollar sign so we just have to add dollar before gte and lte and also lt and lt uh, gt if you if you use that okay so this is what i want to show you before so that's why I put here dollar replace. I just have to replace and want to add the dollar here. So replace and I simply use here the regular expression. So I simply type here slash then this slash b and then I have to pass here a group. If you know about the regular expressions as I have explained uh, this in detail in my JavaScript course. So this is a group so in this group i simply type here it may be gt or gte or lt oops, less than which is lt or lte okay so it may be greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to and then after that we simply have to close it All right here so again i put here uh, slash b and then g okay so it's, we have to put here slash also and then i'm going to type here match and if it is matches then we simply have to add dollar here so dollar before the match okay like this gt gte we have to just put here a dollar before it like this one and in the find i simply have to 
convert back into the into the JSON. So JSON dot parse and we pass in the query copy. I have already explained in my previous courses also like these regular expressions in detail in my JavaScript course and also I have already used these filters in my Node.js API course. Okay, so now uh, if I simply copy it also and paste it here again. Now I press Ctrl S and go back in the postman. You can see that if I click on send, so unexpected token O at position one. All right, so if I simply go back, oh, we have to pass here the query str. Press Ctrl S. Now if I go back to my postman uh, and click on send. And now you can see that we get here two products okay so it is 1 to 200 so its price is 126 which is absolutely fine so this is airports and then if i move down we have our apples that has price of 2.75 dollars so it is getting all the product that has price in between if i type here like 100 and less than 1000 dollars click on send i will get here the airports 126 dollars and the macbook uh, which is basically uh, 949 dollars so now if i go back to my vs code you can see that here first of all it is like this we have to print here the query str so now i press ctrl s we go back just to show you send and now you can see that here okay so in, in this in the first console you can see that we don't have any dollar but after adding this in this line you can see that we have put the dollar before that like this one so now they have become the mongo operators all right so i hope that you understand it is not very difficult i hope that you can easily do that okay so now we are done with our filter part also we can filter the product um, by the price ratings uh, also we can specify the category whatever you want to do so we are done with our second feature which is a filter in my next video i want to add one more functionality that is pagination and i want to paginate my uh, api which is definitely uh, very important because for example if we have 1000 products now it is not a good habit to send all 1000 products at a single page right we simply split it down in